What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design, back with another Squarespace tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create this box of text over a banner image effect. I saw this question asked in the Squarespace customization resource group, so today we are going to be looking at how to create this layout. So this effect is actually really easy to achieve. To get started, to set it up, I have an index page here, and I have an, an index with a banner image, and I have an H2 title, I have paragraph text, and I have a button. So all we have to do to get started is put in a little bit of custom CSS. So the first thing we have to do is target the section that this content is in. So for me, my section is called home intro. You can see it has a section ID of home intro and to target IDs we use a hashtag. So hashtag home intro, open up some curly brackets and you can see that all of the content if we jump back into the custom CSS is contained within this index page content class. So really all we have to do is stylize this dot index page content class uh, in the way that we want to making it that smaller colorized box and then we can just use margin to position it where we want on our page. So I'll show you guys that right now. Go ahead and copy this dot index page content class and you target classes with a period. Gonna open up some more curly brackets. So right now we have light text on a light image. So to be able to see it, I'm just gonna go ahead and first add in a background color and I'm just gonna copy over this hex code that I have. Okay, so now we have a background color. The next thing that we wanna do is constrain the width. Right now it's at 100%, so we want to constrain it to 40%. So you can see we're starting to get that box look. The next thing that I'm gonna do is add a padding of 5%. Um, and that just ensures that we have some padding around the content. The next thing that I wanna do is add a margin of 10%. And you can see that we have a margin of 10% around all of the sides except for the top. And that's because the index page content has an inline style of margin top zero already. So it's not applying the margin to the top. So our box is like smashed up against our header or the top of the section. So all we have to do is throw an important tag on there to override inline styles. And now you can see we have a a 10% uh, margin on every side. So we have the look that we want. So really it's that simple. Um, we now have this like box over image style. The only problem right now is that it's not responsive in the way that we want it to be because it's always only gonna take up 40% of the width of the section. So if we go down to mobile, you can see it's like super squished. So we're gonna have to add in a media query to ensure that it doesn't get squished on smaller screen sizes. So all we have to do is drop down below, still within our home intro curly bracket, but below the dot index page curly bracket, I'm gonna add a media query. So that's media screen, and we're gonna set the max width to our mobile breakpoint width, which is 640 pixels. And then I'm going to open up some curly brackets and again we're going to content this or we're going to target this dot index page content and we're going to set the width to 100%. So it, it's not like confined to 40% and getting really squished, it's going to take up the whole width of the section. Uh, whoops, and I just have to the index page content. Open up curly brackets and make sure that the width 100% is within those curly brackets. Okay, so now we have our final code here. If I jump down to the mobile view, you can see that it's no longer squished on mobile. It's taken up the full width and we still have that 10% uh, margin around all of the sides. 
um, and it looks really good on tablet. If you want it to take up 100% of the width on tablet, then all you have to do is raise this max width to the tablet screen size, which is 800 pixels. And now you can see you can have it full width on tablet if you wanted, but I like how it looks only collapsing down uh, or, or only extending to 100% when it's on the mobile view. Um, in terms of customization, if right now with 10% padding that makes the section pretty tall, it's actually extending past the bottom of the browser window. So if you didn't want it to have that much uh, margin around it, then um, you can, instead of having it 10% everywhere, you can add a 5% margin to the top and bottom. And you can just denote that with 5%, 10%. So this says 5% on the top and bottom and 10% margin on the left and right. So you can see the, the section jumped up. It's a, it's a smaller height now because there's less margin on the top and bottom pushing the section lower. So again, if I just cut that, you can see what it was before. And I like it how it looks a little bit smaller with the 5% on the top and the bottom. So that's how I'm going to leave it. All right, guys, um, that is the final code. I think this is the best way to do that. There's some hacks where you can use like an image block and put in you know, a solid color for the background image, but it's kind of a hacky solution. I think the CSS solution is much better and much more customized and, and it's fully responsive. So if you're going to be doing this, uh, this design layout, then I highly recommend you use this solution. Before I sign off, I just want to let you guys know about this free four day e-course for learning Squarespace custom CSS. Uh, I'm currently working on it right now. I've had a bunch of people sign up already, but if you want to get that free four day e-course when it comes out, go to schwartzedemason.com slash learn CSS four day e-course. It's going to be a link in the description below. I highly recommend you sign up. I'm probably going to be releasing an even more robust full paid course where you guys can literally learn from scratch to pretty advanced concepts that are really going to help you guys out. So if you enjoy my YouTube content and you want to learn more about Squarespace custom CSS, then I highly encourage you guys sign up for this, this four day e-course. It's completely free. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Go design some kick-ass Squarespace websites. Peace.